Oh, the things we do of a Sunday morning. Golly gosh. Anyway, we had fun at the festival last night, so that was good. And now we've managed to get out of bed and come over and get the chicks in the morning. Ooh, find them a new home and <laughs> as you did, I don't know whether we filmed that shit, but the swarm that we had in our backyard turned up and got in the box, so that's good. So the poor wife's got bloody bees going everywhere in her backyard. <laughs> God. So mad bush bee man stealing her shit and filling her house full of bees. <laughs> Anyway, let's get these girls off the shelf. Anyway, here we go. Pick up our adventure from yesterday. Get these back home. Get them all sorted before the ladies, our ladies, wake up. <laughs> oh. I can hear them, they're going. Fucking hell, them polar bears are back. <laughs> now, at this particular moment, we'll try not to fall off the shelf. <laughs> oh, crap. Where am I going to go? Okay. Shush, shush, shush. made themselves a nice little bundle at the corner but we're not going to open it up because we'll do that at home and I'll show you but <laughs> anyway they're all happily nesting in there so let's get them into a box instead of a sweat box a real box <laughs> yeah, have a listen to that <laughs> ah, anyway we'll get a few early morning bee stings get these little ladies out of this pot into a proper box and then I think we might go home and have some breakfast <laughs> I'm up for a bit of breakfast I don't know what is it eight o'clock we're running a bit late as always <laughs> that'll all be good <laughs> anyway here we go we'll do a bit of transfer ready hell <laughs> I wonder <laughs> I wonder whether this is a bloody sensible approach to beekeeping or not, I tell you. It's a little bit crazy. But anyway, it's it's all good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do your bit for the planet, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just hoping that they've clustered up on the top of the container in here. So when we lift them over to the box, we might just we'll just drop the main the main group and then we'll do the rest of it if I don't bang it with me tarp, of course. Anyway, we'll see what happens in a minute. <laughs> I think that, I think me plan might already be in trouble. <laughs> oh. Hopefully they'll stay together. I think my thing's a bit too big. <laughs> I'll get these out, this out of here, get the comb out of here, and then I'll tip the rest of the bees on board. That's what I'm thinking. So just see, if, make sure I haven't got anybody important stuck to this stuff. <laughs> oh, where, oh, where, oh, what the hell? <laughs> I'm not sure what the bloody hell happened. Are they? They've already started to mend themselves to the box. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, how are you lot going in there? Settling down? No, <laughs> not really. They're not settling down. Oh anyway, we'll just we'll just stir them up just that little bit more. Been a bloody earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my golly, 
dust, I said. Anyway, <laughs> so far so good. I think we've created our own swarm. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, hopefully it's just us that's created this mess. <laughs> Let's pop our little rubber bands on here and we'll put that in there and then the ladies can hopefully calm the hell down a little bit. If we're really lucky. <laughs> Just wondering whether that, because where these guys were in there was a great big rat's nest. So I'm wondering whether they got rid of the rat and then this bloody great big angry human came and moved them instead. So they'll be like, bloody Nora, all that warring and fighting and carrying on. And look at us. We could have just waited and got moved. Oh, you no, no, young fellas. Goodness me. So they're not really, really psycho, so that's. Mind you, I suppose they've had a bit of an exciting couple of days, haven't they? They're probably not 100% sure what's going on. <gasps> I just reckon the bloke bought enough rubber bands. I think I got a little bit excited. I got half a kilo of the bloody things. That's a bit ambitious. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll pop these two in. We'll try to put the try to put the hollow bits facing each other. So I've got them sitting on top of the wire and they can just sit there like that. And then they can go in here. Because they've got nothing to sit on yet. She must be in there somewhere because they can smell her. Yeah. <laughs> They're all trying to get in the back. Why does that always happen? Why do they always go in the wrong side? Come around the front, you idiots. This is that moment when you wonder whether you should turn your box around because they're all sort of um, orientating to the back of the box. But, oh well. You know what? I reckon they're that bloody confused just right now. I don't think it's going to matter a hell of a lot. I reckon um, swarm catching is a much more sensible approach than nest removal. But anyway, I don't like to see the ladies get killed when they, you know, don't really like hearing stories when they get petrol poured all over them and all sorts of shit like that to kill them off. It's not really friendly. <laughs> So, I guess at least they're in with a chance if I'm if I turn up. <laughs> That's the thing. They don't know that I'm actually trying to help them. I don't think. But anyway, we'll pop that one in as well, shall we? Yeah, they're all hanging on the roof as they do because they're freaking themselves out. I don't know whether she's quite often the boss will be sitting up here because she's trying not to get stuck in the honey pot. Mind you, we haven't got too much honey. A bad idea to put dripping honey in your new nest, or your moved nest. You think you're trying to help them out, but then the girls get stuck in it, so it's a bad option. You're really better off not to put all the drippy honey in there, even though you think you're helping them. I've found out it's a bad idea, so you put the honey somewhere by, and or on the top maybe. Well, not really, even that's a bad idea. I did that before, and then they drown in it. You're better off not to put the bloody honey in there at all. Give them back their brood, and hopefully if you put them in a nice spot where they can collect some new honey, they'll be much better off. Well anyway, that's my opinion. And a few bees on there. I'll pop them in there too. There we go, chicks. That was a bit of a trick. I don't know if it's going to make a heck of a lot of difference, because they're all everywhere at the moment, but still. Get away from the edge, you idiots. Ta -dum, ta -dum. <laughs> I reckon we're gonna I'm gonna get a little stick and lift the corner up here so the girls can get in while we do whatever else we're doing here. Have a look at that. They're always back to front and upside down, aren't they? Anyway, they haven't managed to sting me yet, so that's a good thing for a Sunday morning. <laughs>